What's going on guys, Victor here. I got Johnny from Johnny Jigs right here. What's up? Tim. Hello. Eddie say what's up. What's up guys? And of course, Ryan over here. What's going on everyone? So today's a really special trip because Johnny, if you guys don't know, I'm from Pompano Beach and there's a really cool shop down in Pompano by my house called Johnny Jigs, which you guys specialize in what? Slow pitch jigging. That is the plan for today. Slow pitch jigging related, that's, that's what we hone into. You're not gonna go into our store and find any type of bait or any bait related stuff. It's all uh, jigging, popping, casting, you know, what we love to do. Speaking my language. So we got a great crew. We got great conditions. We'll see you guys out there. You gotta love when you come out here and the weatherman says it's gonna be flat calm. It's not flat calm. <laughs> All right, Tim, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh. Woo, baby. Up in 200 feet, guys. That's about in? where I was. 200 feet down on the speed jig? Yep. I touched bottom, came up about 100 feet and got hammered. Yeah. We're in like 300 feet of water now, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of speed jigging, a little bit of slow pitch jigging, and Tim's the first one hooked up. <laughs> Definitely an AJ. Oh yeah. I can't watch anymore, I gotta get in there. I don't even have time to drop down. Eddie's on too. That was on bottom, Eddie? Yep. Do you think? Snapper uh, of sorts, maybe? I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Maybe an AJ. Very or, heavy. Or an Amico. Oh man! <laughs> Alright, he's hooked up. Ryan, what are you doing over right, there? <laughs> Alright, Johnny's on Woo! too. Have to focus on. Good vibes, boys. Good vibes. Little bouncing huh? going on. So I like to slow it down. No pumping, because then that jig wiggles loose on the fish. So whenever you just kind of steady retrieve them, use this uh, as like a winch, essentially. I call it the Captain Ortiz. Morgan. The, the Captain, Captain Morgan. Morgan. That's right, man. Right there. All day long. And you don't tire yourself out like oh, that. There we go. Oh. All right. Oh. All right, Ryan. <laughs> is that ever all four of us hooked up right now? Yes, the whole boat is. Oh up. my god. Up. Wow. Was yours on bottom, Ryan? Uh, no, I was up. I was like 100 feet off the bottom. I asked Johnny. I was like, "So I shouldn't be on the bottom?" He's like, "No, dude. What are you doing?" <laughs> I got color, boys. All right. You have an amber Perfect. jack for sure. Oh yeah. Listen to that track. Beauty. Go, all right. Look at that. We got a greater amber jack. Little guy. Little guy, but you know, they all put up a good fight. On the high speed jig for Tim. AJ going in. I got two retards. You got, you got two fish? Yeah. Are you There's serious? You got two? No. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's one. Oh, that's insane. See, those are all Makos, though. Yep. Different fish than uh, what Tim just caught. Woo. Two for one, baby. Two fish or your and a bonus dado. fish. <laughs> <laughs> We need to get that guy down. Nice. Pretty cool. <laughs> Double Almaco jacks. This morning we tried to catch golden tilefish, which live in like 800 to 900 feet of water. When you're jigging this deep, you get very tired. You get dehydrated. And that's where today's video sponsor comes in, Element. You guys see, we're out here all the time. It's Florida, it's hot. We get dehydrated. I'm out on the water all day sometimes. The sun beats down on you and your boy gets really thirsty. So luckily I found this company called Element. They make really good tasting electrolyte supplements. The one thing I really love about this is I don't get seasick often, but the only two times I do and I don't feel good is when I'm A, either dehydrated or I have not slept well. Staying hydrated is super important not just for your health but just for your overall well-being and just to feel better out on the water you're going to enjoy your time so much more element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of sodium potassium and magnesium my favorite flavor has been the raspberry salt they got a ton of different flavors to choose from and it's a really healthy alternative to sugary electrolyte drinks i've really enjoyed taking element while out on the water helping me feel my best this is a sample pack and you guys can actually get one for free, all you gotta do is pay $5 in shipping. I'm gonna have them linked in the description box below. That is drink element slash land shark. Get your free sample pack of element. You guys can find it in the description box below, like I said. $5 in shipping, that's all you got to lose. It's five bucks, get yourself some delicious electrolytes. Drop in the moon riser, must add, on the high speed ocean's legacy, on the adrenaline. 
And uh, I didn't actually even drop on the last one. Every single person on the boat caught an amberjack, either a grater or an almaco. It's Vic's turn. Come over here. Oh, there it is. oh got him. Woo! Yeah, baby. Got him. Oh, That's an AJ. I'm rolling. I'm reeling up for you, thank you. 110% an AJ. So I dropped the jig down, got yeah, hit like 40 feet up off the bottom. They don't look like they're strong rods, but look at that. You could double these things over. Real thin walled. Right Links. at the exact same time that you got hit, Eddie got cut over there by some really? toothy critter. Yeah. Cut? Uh -huh. Yeah, he got cut by something. I think I got the elusive bottom wahoo. Bottom wahoo? Ooh. We'll see. Freak out. You got good wahoo energy lately, so. Let's hope I don't use up all my luck. But that was in 2021. We're on new luck in 2022. That's true. Nice on the cut. Whoa! Yeah. All right, check that out. This is honestly one of my favorite eating fish. You guys see us catch these a lot offshore. Um, in the summertime, these things spend their juvenile life cycle like underneath the sargasm weed with dolphin, but they get big. Oh! oh in the background. <laughs> nice. It's tight. No. <laughs> and the way you can distinguish an almaco jack from a greater amber jack, you guys see this dorsal fin right here? Let me see if I can get them to pop it up more. Almaco jacks have a very uh, a much taller dorsal fin and more of a broad body they're more up and down right here in the midsection but right. gorgeous little guy all right we're gonna harvest this one johnny caught this fish so fast i don't even have time to pull out the camera <laughs> hey, man, it's, it's always nice whenever you get a kingfish and they don't cut you off on, on the jig because that's more than likely what's going to happen this guy hit it came straight up at me i didn't know if i had a fish on or not not only is this guy a great source of knowledge but he has a youtube channel by the name of johnny jigs so if you guys want to learn this sport, you want to learn about slow pitch fishing, check him out. I'm going to have a link in the description box below as well as on the screen here because this guy is probably the most positive person I ever met. He's <laughs> nothing but good vibes. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. I gotta say, Eddie's got the hot hand today. Eddie stays tight today. It's always the quiet ones you gotta look yeah. at. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That'll definitely be a workout when you hook them on bottom Whoa, okay. Timmy Tile hooked up. The speed jig's getting all the, most of the love today. We're marking a lot of fish kind of like mid-column. You guys take a look right here. Right there. We're trying to catch fish on bottom, mid-column, right up on top. And uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be an amberjack. A bigger one though. Yeah, for sure. Woo, that's really our biggest yeah. one of the day. Beautiful, good one. That's Baby, look at that guy. <laughs> that's an almaco. That's a big almaco. Yep, that's nice it. Nice job, Tim. Here you go, Tim. You want to hold your fish, bro? Woo! And you just go straight down with him like that. So Ryan just caught a second grouper on a really cool rig. He's going to show you guys. Wow, the bottom is lit up, so I'm going to hurry up. This is called an ebbing rig. I learned about these when I fished in Japan. And a Japanese captain was out fishing me on a standard jigging setup, like 10 to 1. They got this piece of wire and I just can clip in a jig, any size. I change it based on the conditions. Then I got about 10 to 12 feet a 40 pound leader and this little grub. And you gotta think, especially when you're fishing for things like tunas and some of these groupers and snappers, sometimes they don't want a giant profile. Sometimes this little profile is gonna be just an absolute killer for them. And this big jig allows you to get, get it into the strike zone. Lost a little blackfin earlier, caught a what would have been legal scamp during season and then just caught another little dink one. So definitely working. We got some good marks, so I'm gonna get back down. And if you guys wanna see more of Ryan and learn some um, really cool stuff. He's my good bud, so you guys should consider subscribing to his channel. It's Ryan Mori. I'm gonna have it on the screen here as well as linked in the description box below. And he's got a bunch of really cool Japanese videos from his time over in Okinawa. Yeah. Oh. oh no way! Oh. oh no, you didn't. Ooh. Is this on? Well, not up top. Yeah, it should be on. Yeah, yeah it's on. We were just saying, we were just saying Woo! how. <laughs> Woo! When Let's Vic, just let them speak first. Dude, when Vic, uh, 
isn't catching anything, he'll just completely follow that up by catching the best fish of the day. So let's see what you got, man. Um, right now, I can't lie. I thought I just got shark, but I guess I didn't. Oh no! Feeling very sharky right now. <laughs> very, it's shark. Is it? A hundred percent. No! Look at it. Unless he's in structure. Oh, he's in structure, I think. Oh, dude, he's in structure. I can feel him on bottom. Really? Yes. I thought I you were like feel, on the no, way up. I was, but he just took all that line back down. I can feel. Oh. oh. That was. You know what that was? I thought I got shark, but you saw how it was kind of like. Yeah. It was definitely in reef or some type mm -hmm. of structure, and I felt it just going a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. You win some, you lose some. You know, I was blessed last time I did a slow pitch trip. I got a 30 pound gag. Ryan was there, Tim was there. Can't win them all. That was a good fish though, oh, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, hey, that's me. in the reef, dude. Yep. That is in the reef, look at that. This guy hit hard, and I was right on the bottom actually. You can see he's kind of pulling drag on me right now. I mean, I like that form. Yeah, it's Tell just- Tell people how you don't need a pump on No, water. you don't. It's just super smooth because you gotta figure, you're using a lead jig. So if you start pumping, you're shaking that lead up and down, which essentially is uh, loosening the hook inside the fish. So by the time you do all that lifting and reeling down, you know, and the fish comes up, then, then you've got, you know, a chance of him coming off because it, it spreads the hole. There he is. And these things will beat you up. Yes, Especially when they get all the hooks in them. They've got so much. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I'm good. There he is, guys. So that's definitely an AJ. So you can see the, the dorsal fin right there is a lot shorter than the than the Almacos that we were getting before. I love it when they go straight down like that. Yeah. Yep. He will survive. Hey, you could eat this Kill guy me. kind of like corn on the cob. <laughs> I, I want to see the recipe for that one, John. <laughs> oh, look at, look at that. Hey! Yo! Dude, flipping black this is what I've been looking for all day on the ebbing rig. This is literally the reason I was throwing it, it is to catch me a nice little tuna. I finally got one, man. Better believe that Wahoo Kingfish, they would munch on one of those little black fins. We were all taking a little snack break, but Eddie never gave up. I think he's hooked up big time. We're good, we're good, we're good. We called it, it's a group of. Oh! Hey, it's snowy. Eddie got it snowy, bro. Yes, man. Is. That is a beautiful oh, yeah. fish. Season's close, and we're all gonna cry a little bit when we send this guy back down because snowy groupers are delicious, but. So that fish is out of season right now. They're close, so we're gonna send them back down on this really cool device. Let me show you guys in a second here. Because you guys saw his belly was blown up. That's because he can't compensate for that pressure change. So you're gonna have to send him down with a weight. There's the tool. He's gonna clip it into its mouth and it's gonna release on its own when it gets to a certain depth. Later, buddy. Thanks for the fight. The boys caught some nice snowy grouper to end the day. I did not have the hot hand today. I, I honestly think I caught like two or three fish, but big thank you to Johnny for hosting this trip and taking us out. Very welcome, man. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, man. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I think we had, I mean, we consistently had fish coming over. Yeah, the and a ton of different species, vermilion snapper, snowy grouper, scamp grouper, black fins, almaco jacks, amber jacks. Porgies. I'm taking porgy. Kingfish. Who caught a for you? This guy right here, right? <laughs> the list goes on. That's a good thing about slow pitch jigging. You never know what you're gonna catch. This is a sport that I, as you guys see, I'm becoming very passionate about and I really like it. So if you wanna learn more, like I said, check out Johnny's shop. It's in Pompano, real close to where I live. If you're in South Florida, swing on by. All the Ocean's Legacy rods that you guys see me fish, they have them in stock there. Go say what's up, tell them Vic sent you. And that's and we it. ship them all over the country too. So anywhere anywhere you're at, if you want it, we ship it to you. It's it's very fast um, shipping. So it comes in a nice tube and, and uh, safe and it comes uh, quickly. So, but uh, thank you, Victor. I appreciate it. Of course. The weatherman got it wrong once again. It was supposed to be a lot calmer than it was. Our original plan was to go out to the tilefish grounds, as you saw, make those 800 foot drops and try to get a golden tilefish on the jig, which Tim on the boat did do the other day. 
they got tile fish up to 30 pounds, but you just gotta go every chance you get. This is not a gaff shot brick. I, I, I was gonna see. say, what is that? That is a shark bite. I think that he got tagged either earlier in life or on the way up, something tried to now, eat him right there. it looks a little old. That's a gaff shot. We need some new gaffers on the boat. Something that I also think is cool a lot of the times with um, Amberjack's homicos is when they've been sitting on ice for a while, they get this cool pattern on the skin. You mean this like line right here? No, like the, you can see the marks of the ice cubes. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is pretty cool. This is such, such an underutilized fish by us Florida fishermen. You guys see on this channel that I pretty much eat any species because every species has its time and place in the kitchen depending on the recipe you're going to use for it. Mm. And amber jacks and almaco jacks, banded rudder fish, are no exception. And we'll see if this guy has worms, which is the number one reason people tend to shy away from these fish, but we'll see. Yep, it's got worms all right. Okay, so watch this. Nice job, buddy. Amberjack, lesser amberjack, almaco jacks tend to have what's known as spaghetti worms. Don't know the scientific name for it, but it's these worms right here that are in the tail. Look, this is a spaghetti worm. This is going in my mouth because I care so much about changing the perspective on trash fish. Watch this. First of all, did you, you chew can't, it or swallow it? No, I, I swallowed it. It's got no taste. If I was a chef and I had to try to convince my customer to eat this in a restaurant, I probably wouldn't eat it. But I will tell you something. Once you cook this, mm -hmm. so if you don't eat it raw, but once you cook it, you don't really see the worms. Other than the worms, it is a very delicious fish. Okay, watch this. We flip it over. Gorgeous, very thin layer. You guys see that normally I cut out the pin bones and bloodline. I'm gonna attempt to remove the bones with tweezers just like that not only are you not wasting as much fish but you're just going to get a better looking product so i'm going to continue to get these pin bones out and i'll meet you guys in the kitchen so we're going to make a little almaco jack style piccata this is what i mean about when you pluck those pin bones you're able to keep that bloodline piece in there you just got to trim a little bit of the bloodline so it's not too red, but you get a nice, much nicer looking filet. So in here, I made a little seasoned flour, which is just all purpose flour, lots of garlic powder, lots of cracked black pepper and salt. Going in with the Almaco Jack, we're just gonna do a light pan fry of the Almaco Jack and save this flour because we're gonna use it to thicken up our sauce. We're gonna go in with our fish, medium heat, olive oil and a little saute pan, a little fry pan. So I took the fish off, got them browned on both sides. Now we're gonna make our sauce. So I tossed in a little bit of butter, got some garlic, gonna go in, as well as we're gonna add some flour now just to kind of make a little roux and thicken up our sauce. Okay, now we're gonna deglaze with some white wine. And as I deglaze, I'll take this little metal spatula and I'll scrape the, the bottom bits. And that's where a lot of the flavor comes in from this sauce. By adding that flour, we got a little roux. You guys can see that this is pretty thick. In this pot, I got a little spaghetti going. We're gonna add our broccoletti into here about halfway through the spaghetti cook because I don't, I don't like soggy vegetables. I like nice, crisp vegetables. 
Now we're gonna add some chicken stock into our sauce now that the wine's reduced by about half, as well as the juice of half a lemon. Okay, now we're gonna add in our capers. Okay, so the sauce is just about done. I'm just gonna finish it off with a little cold butter. I reduced the heat, so we put the, so we put the butter in there, and we're gonna add our fish. We're gonna add our fish right back in, and they're just gonna heat through. Here we got our final product. I present to you a little Almaco Jack Piccata. You got your spaghetti, broccoletti, and a beautiful, it's a very lemony, fresh, um, but also rich sauce. You get the butter, the capers. It's a nice little balance. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. Before we dig in, do you see, smell, or can even know that there's worms in here? With without you previously knowing that there was worms in here? I mean, no. No, right? They're not poking out, they're not sticking their little heads <laughs> out. And after I took the worms out of the tail, the worms were actually throughout the entire fish. Now let's see if you can taste them. I already had them raw, but let's see if Brookie can taste them. I mean, I know I'm not gonna be able to taste them. It's just, as long as you don't think about that, which is, I mean, it's not like you are wanting like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat worms, but yeah. it's not like it's gonna affect the taste or anything. Mm -mm. Turns out white, just like every other fish once you cook it. Not a worm in sight. No weird flavor. No it's weird really taste. It's really good, and the sauce is absolutely amazing. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right. Big thank you guys once again for watching today's video and huge shout out to Element for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to get that sample pack for free, all you got to do is cover the cost of shipping. It got a ton of great flavors. It is perfect for fishermen or any outdoor enthusiast. Let's face it, Florida's hot, you get dehydrated, you sweat a lot, replenish those electrolytes. I really like it. I'm going to start bringing it on every single fishing trip. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Drinkelement.com slash Landshark. Till the next one.